On August 1st, 2020, 18 black artists from Indianapolis banded together to paint a mural that amplified the messages of a movement that had captured the attention of the city, the nation, and ultimately the world. The movement, called Black Lives Matter, began as a Twitter hashtag in 2013 in reaction to a neighborhood watch volunteer who killed an unarmed black teenage boy named Trayvon Martin. One of the goals of the Black Lives Matter movement is to shed light on the systemic racism that puts the lives of black people in danger. Like the fact that black Americans are more than twice as likely to be killed by police as white Americans. In May 2020, a police officer murdered a black man named George Floyd in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Millions of people gathered all around the world that summer to protest George Floyd's death, including artists in cities like Washington, D.C., New York, and Indianapolis. With support in the form of a resolution passed by the City County Council, the Indianapolis mural artist, later calling themselves the 18, came together to create a mural stating that Black Lives Matter on a section of Indiana Avenue. For the city government, not only to uh, pass legislation for us to do it, uh, but to provide a lot of the tools and to, to block off the street for a couple of weeks, that was huge. The images they created expressed each individual artist in their community's deep, complicated emotions, feelings that are difficult to express in words. My work is really about um, being able to express yourself, how you're feeling, no matter how icky it is. We're so programmed to think right and wrong, right and wrong. And in art, you can just let go. If it wasn't for the arts, I don't know if I would be the person that I am today. Each letter was packed with meaning and symbolism. The flowers growing out of the concrete just kind of represents the black community and how we were feeling at the time. Every time you hear me or see me speak, it's about my daughters. And I drew a picture of them with what they want to be when they grow up and with signs saying black futures and black dreams matter. The letter in whole kind of represents the kente fabric that's native to Ghana, but each symbol within the letter means something different. But not everyone in the community supported their art. The mural was vandalized just seven days after completion. When the mural was defaced, I was completely devastated. I felt disappointed. But I wasn't really surprised, to be honest with you. The collective decided that it was better to leave that there as a symbol, you know, that there's still work to be done. It was something that, that kind of needed to happen because it was the whole reason why we did the mural. Despite the vandalism, the mural stood strong and was impactful for many people within and outside of the community. The 18 hope their mural helps peacefully spread the message that all lives cannot matter until Black lives matter, too. I want my work to when people to look at it, for it to inspire like thought and emotion and just get like gears turning and get people thinking about ways that we could like move forward. You know, that's what art's for. It's supposed to make people think. It's supposed to make people talk. So as long as it's doing that, then, then it, it's successful. 